Yo, what is going on guys? This is your boy Runnerman15 and today I wanted to make a little update video to my video game collection. So here are all the games that I've gotten that I've added to my physical game collection since the last video that I made. I'm talking about the video game mystery box video that I made. So since that video, here are all the games that I've added to my collection. Now, I just wanted to make this video just to kind of make an update, update you guys about what I got, you know, and uh, also to say that hopefully we'll be doing another video game mystery box very soon. I have a very special uh, idea for that video. But without further ado, let's get, let's just get into this. These games aren't going to be in any specific order. I'm going to go from my newest games, like my newest released games, all the way down to my oldest games. So... Let's go ahead and start off with PS5. So I did buy a couple of PS5 games and uh, just to show you guys. And then also I will be adding a little uh, collection, a little value indicator in the bottom left corner of the video. So if you know, if you want to know the value of each game, you can. There's not going to be like a total game uh, value. I know my collection's worth around $1,700 in total. Uh, but just to show you guys the value of each game. So for instance, for the first game, we have the PS5 edition of Grand Theft Auto V. So I had to buy this in order to play the PS5 version uh, because I got to use my GameStop uh, Pro membership rewards. I got $5 off. So it was only like 15 bucks instead of just paying 20 for the, uh, the digital. Um, there is a coffee stain ring around it coffee mug ring on it so yeah i do need to clean it up but copy of gta 5 i also picked up writer's republic for the ps5 and uh no manual just the uh game disc uh, most of these discs should be in pretty good condition so yeah this one is pretty much new so i haven't played this game yet i don't know if this game's any good but i wanted to get this just in case i wanted to play it so plus it was pretty cheap um, I don't think it was actually $15, it might have been even cheaper than that, but who knows. I got, uh, I think it was 15 when I bought it. I got Spider-Man Miles Morales Launch Edition for the PS5 because I got the, you know, the Spider-Man remake for the PS4, so I thought I'd get the uh, next game in the series. I still haven't played through the Spider-Man game series, though. So, it's got the uh, reversible cover art as well, and then uh, the pretty much new game disc. So there's Spider-Man, Marvel, Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales. And then finally, we got a copy of Elden Ring because I wanted to try out some Elden Ring. So I bought a copy of this uh, from some dude off of OfferUp. He was selling it for pretty cheap. I think it was like 30 or 35 bucks. So I went and picked it up. And uh, yeah, I've, I've played a little bit of this game. So far, it's all right. Uh, I'm not a, the biggest fan of Souls-like uh, Souls -like games just because uh, I'm not, not very good at them. So, uh, those are my only PS5 games, my only physical PS5 games, so I only have four, and I do kind of want to expand my PS5 collection, but I do want to wait for those games to kind of drop in price a little bit. Alright, so I'll show you guys a few more, uh, let's move on to the uh, PS4 games, and so as you can see here, I have Project Cars 3, and I know I still haven't taken some of the GameStop logos off of these, so I bought Pro Project Cars 3 for the PS4, um, not really sure why i bought this I just you know got it on pc but oh uh, well and then i also have project cars complete edition um you guys don't know the servers for this game actually shut down which is kind of a shame but uh game disc is in practically new condition and then for project cars 3 game discs should also be practically new yeah so i have project cars 2 but i only have that on pc and then these two games I have in PS4. I don't, I don't know why I did that, but I think I just picked them up because they're cheap. Then next we have Neo for the PS4. I haven't played this game, so um, I think it's like a Souls-like or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so, but I'm sure this was cheap as at GameStop. I got the uh, reversible cover art as well. And then... We got, a, we got a bunch of PS4 games. I've really expanded my uh, PS4 games library since the uh, the last video. I got Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. You can see I bought this for like seven bucks. Uh, comes with a little insert and then the game, which is, uh, there's some fingerprints on it, but not really any scratches, so. Then we got Watch Dogs Legion. This is uh, some kind of older UB slop, if you know what I mean, so. Apparently this game's kind of garbage. 
but it's got some inserts and then there's the game disc. Game disc pretty much new. There are some smudges, but it's that bad. So this is Watch Dogs Legion. Haven't played that game yet. I've heard it's pretty bad. Uh, next up, we got Jedi Star Wars or Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I actually did start playing through this game on the uh, PS5 version, but haven't gotten through much mo uh, much of it. I've only played about like an hour, hour and a half. So, but so far, I thought I thought the game was pretty good. Kind of kind of Souls like ish in a sense, I guess. The Lego Marvel Collection. So this comes with Lego Marvel Superheroes uh, one and two, and Lego Marvel Avengers. So it just comes in on one disc. I'm not sure if a, a manual or insert came with this game, but I uh, got the disc for it. We have Just Cause 4 and uh, Just Cause 3. So I bought both of these at GameStop, and this one's the uh, Day 1 edition. So it's got the little insert in here, and then uh, the disc, which is pretty much new. And then Just Cause 4... I mean, three, my bad. I haven't played any of the Just Cause games yet, so I have been meaning to play through these games, just haven't yet. We got Doom for the PS4. Um, I've, oh wow, I've played a little bit of Doom. Uh, I played it on the Xbox, you see we've got some uh, inserts in there. Here's the uh, game disc, still in pretty decent shape. Got re uh, reversible cover art. So I do enjoy this game. This game was pretty fun for the short amount of time that I've played it. I just haven't played it on PS4. Uh, next up, we have a certified PS4 banger that is Drive Club. I bought this game because I wanted to play it and because you can't buy it uh, digitally anymore. Uh, also, the server shut down for this game, so you can only play the single player. You can't get any of the DLCs anymore. And it's a PS4 exclusive, meaning you can't get this on any other platform. So, uh, yeah. But, uh... Cool game, I like it. Uh, probably one of the best looking PS4 games ever made. This is the Steelbook for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. So before I had just the disc in a, just a generic GameStop case, and then I went and uh, went ahead and bought the actual, like kind of like ultimate edition for this game. So here is the game disc, pretty much new. So yeah, I finally upgraded the uh, loose copy of the game to the steelbook edition i've also bought in tom clancy's the division one and this came with uh, disc no manual this is from gamestop and then tom clancy's the division two for the ps4 so i got one and two this has a little code um that code already expired but if you guys want to try and redeem this uh, go ahead i guess we got uh the witcher wild uh the witcher 3 wild hunt uh but you know the witcher 3 so apparently this is a complete edition. I don't think these codes will still work anymore. Or maybe it's on the disc. I think it's probably just on the disc, actually. So I haven't played this game. The Outer Worlds, and most of my physical games I haven't played anyways. I do need to start playing some of my physical games here. But we've got The Outer Worlds. Bought this from GameStop. This actually has a manual. And then there's the disc. A little uh, smudged and stuff, but it's all right. We got Battlefield Hardline, and uh, I know you see a game over there. Don't don't worry about that one yet. We've got Battlefield Hardline. Decided to finally buy this game uh, for the PS4. I did play this on Xbox One, and this is probably one of my favorite Battlefields. This is a very cool Battlefield. And then our last two games are Assassin's Creed games. So this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the uh, steel case, and it comes with all of the inserts, which these have already expired. And there's also the beta insert for the Division 2. But uh, here's the uh, game disc. So I picked this up for pretty cheap off of, I'm pretty sure, Facebook Marketplace. I think it was like 10 bucks. And then finally, or not finally, but second to last game is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And uh, I have played a little bit of this game. Uh, I liked Odyssey. I'm not really liking Valhalla. I think Valhalla is kind of boring. Like, it's like... It's UB Slop, you know, it's uh, a snooze fest. And then finally, my final PS4 game that I've added to my collection since the last video is Anthem. The Legion of Dawn edition, by the way. So yeah, uh, bought a physical copy of Anthem, because why not? Um, and the funny thing is, I actually used this code for the uh, Legion of Dawn edition, and it didn't work. It, it didn't give me uh, the DLC, so... That was kind of dumb, I guess. But I bought this game for pretty cheap. I think it was like eight bucks. So 
there you go so as you can see those are all my new ps4 games we have just a few more other games to go through here starting off with forza horizon 4 this is the hundred dollar ultimate edition and uh i bought this back when the game launched um and then my brother actually lost this uh, at the place he was staying at at the time my brother actually lost acts like he he lost this the case and disc and stuff he, we don't know where it went and then finally about a year ago when he was uh <clears throat> when he moved uh back in with us he found this and he gave it back to me so i finally have my steel case copy of forza horizon 4 it's pretty beat up unfortunately but uh yikes yikes that's like bent um but still got the little safety insert piece of like paper here and then obviously the game disc uh this is pretty beat up so but yeah so there's my i said i had a copy of this game but it was lost well now it's found and now i can finally play the game again so probably one of the best forza horizons in my opinion i'd say uh three was probably the best out of uh all five all right, let's move into my two new Xbox 360 games. So the first game, the, I, I'm pretty sure these are new. or Well, I know these are new, but I'm pretty sure I haven't added any other 360 games to my collection. Uh, we got Pure, and I bought this for a video that I did recently, pretty recently, around a month ago. Uh, the disc is in my Xbox right now, so you know it's not in here. It's in okay shape, but the actual case itself, pretty beat up. But I bought this for pretty cheap off of eBay and... Uh, you know it works so that's good enough for me and then finally i have a sealed copy of mortal kombat for the 360 so this is actually sealed as you can see there's the uh, certificate of authentication or of authenticity so this is actually sealed fully sealed um and this is worth around 30 something bucks i think i bought it for like 40 bucks so I, i'm pretty sure i super overpaid for this but i was like eh i was looking for a complete version of mortal kombat since we got a loose version of it in the mystery box video and i saw this sealed copy and i was like oh i'll buy it sure why not so there's my new sealed version of the game all right let's move on to some ps3 games this guy was selling a bunch of ps3 games that were in pretty like really good condition so here's MGS4. Uh, the case is in pretty decent condition. There are some scratches like towards the top. That's kind of like normal-ish wear. Um, but came with the manual, th super thick manual, by the way. And then the game disc is in, you know, I, I, there's no smudges, no scratches, no nothing. I have the Bulletproof Steelbook edition of Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. And I actually bought this from a game store over in Florida. So I took a little Florida trip uh, around a year ago for uh, my cousin's wedding. And uh, we went to, me and my brother went to a game store there. And I picked, this is one of the games that I picked up over there. So it comes with the soundtrack as well. So this is pretty much kind of like the, the deluxe edition of the game in a steel case. So I, I've never seen a steel case that just looks like a normal PS3 game before. So I thought I'd uh, pick it up. And uh, I'm not sure... Pretty sure it's a legit steel case. I could be wrong. Oh, it is an official steel bug. That's from 2003. 2003. Wait. That doesn't seem right. This game didn't... I don't think this game's that, that old. I don't even think the PS3 was around then. 2013. I don't know why it says 2003 in there. That's I mean, that's the last time they updated their license. Uh, we got Mag for the PS3. This copy is a little bit more beat up. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is new since the last time I made a video. It has reversible cover art as well. Uh, the disc is pretty good condition. There are some scratches right there. You can kind of see, the, but those are the only scratches. So, mag, um, multiplayer online only. So I'm pretty sure this game's kind of unplayable now. Uh, I have GTA 5 for the PS3, um, which I'm pretty sure the online servers actually shut down for this game. Uh, somewhat, I think a couple years ago, uh, but it has the map, has uh, the inserts and stuff, the manual. And then here's a PS3 copy, which is, this is something that you don't get in uh, the PS5 version of the game. So they charge you $20 for a game from 2013, and uh, they don't even give you any of these inserts in here. See, there's the uh, manual for it, and then there's the game map. So I don't know, uh, 
why Rockstar had to be so greedy, but sure. Considering this is what they gave us back in 2013 for 60 bucks when the game first dropped. And that's a game that's over a decade old, and they only give you the game disc in case. So, you know, whatever, I guess. We got GTA 4 Greatest Hits for the PS3. So I picked this up from GameStop, as you can see. And this comes with the uh, little manual guidebook and the map as well. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then here is the game. Uh, there's some smudges on it, but it's still in pretty decent shape. All right, we've got four more PS3 games here. I have another copy of Fallout 3, but this is the Game of the Year edition, which I'm pretty sure I already got that in the mystery box, but this is actually complete. Like, this has the sleeve, and then... Oh, excuse me. I don't think there was... Yeah, there's nothing else in here. This is the little... It has a little uh, opening right here. See, there's a little sticky thing right there, and then you just close it. And then uh, in here, there's a little survival guide, the super thick manual, and then the actual game disc itself, which is in uh, very good shape. No scratches, no smudges, no nothing. All right, so sorry about that, the video cut off, but as I was saying, this game is technically sealed because uh, it's kind of open at the bottom here. So that's not really exactly sealed, but I bought this for like super cheap. I think I bought this for like 10 bucks. And so now I have a copy of Destiny 1 on PS3 that's technically sealed. But uh, I mean, this case has taken a little bit of damage through the plastic and stuff. So I don't know. I guess it's sealed from coals. So yeah, I don't really know what to categorize that if it's actually sealed or not. But we'll call it sealed just to uh, just for style points, I guess. We got the original Bioshock for the PS3, and this does come in a little sleeve. This is not the remastered, this is the original copy of the game. Comes with a fat old manual and reversible cover art. Um, I played the remastered version of this game, and it was alright. Uh, I don't think it was, like, the greatest game ever, but... If you haven't played the game, it is pretty short. I would recommend playing it, and it's a pretty easy platinum as well, so... In terms of, like, platinuming and uh, completing games, you know, it's not, it's not a bad game. If you can get it for cheap, I'd recommend it. And then after that, we have Bioshock Infinite for the PS3. So I have not played Infinite yet. I haven't even played Bioshock 2 yet. But it comes with the manual and the uh, little season pass uh, ad, I guess. And then it has a reversible cover art as well. Game disc is in, like, perfect condition. All right, well, that's pretty much it for new PS3 games. Now I have a PS2 game, and it is Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Label. Now, this is worth around 20-something dollars, it'll say right here, but pretty sure this is worth quite a bit. Now, the black label is kind of rare. This isn't the black edition. It's just the black label, that's all. It does come with the manual. It does come with the disc. Now, I already had, and this, it has some scratches, but it's not terrible. I already had this game uh, loose, but I wanted to get a complete inbox version, and I decided to get the black label as well, so I just bought it off of eBay. So, yeah, there's Most Wanted for PS2. And then I got something special. This is my most recent purchase. I went to a uh, video game and collectible store, and I decided to get my first ever physical PSP game. This is Hot Wheels Ultimate Racing. So I bought this, I think it was 15 bucks, something like that, but this is a PSP game. As you can see, there's the uh, UMD disc, comes with the manual as well. So I thought this game was kind of cool. Oops, I thought this game was kind of cool and uh, the plastic itself is scratched, but the actual disc just has some fingerprints on it. So it's not bad. I don't even have a PSP I can play this game on, but I just want a PSP game because I, I don't have any PSP, PSP games in my collection. So I thought I would start it off with something, uh, something crazy like a Hot Wheels game, I guess. And then finally, the last new, the last game that I haven't shown you guys is the original Gran Turismo for the PlayStation. This is in the uh, the original jewel case. Comes with the manual. Uh, no disc on this page. And then we have the actual disc right here, along with uh, another manual, I guess. So yeah. However, I do want to do a, another video game mystery box soon. 
Uh, once I save up some money for that, I will let you guys know when I'm going to do that. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed today, or if you guys enjoyed the video today, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more video game content, hit that subscribe button. Number 15. I'll see you guys later. Peace.